You can also notice that the throttle power limit has gone to cruise. Now, obviously, we're not going to require the cruise power limit. We're going to it's going to vary the throttles to hold whatever set there, E38. What this means is that if we were to do a climb now, it's going to use the cruise limit for the climb, so it's a more gentle climb. And we're in cruise. Next stop, top descent. Okay, we're in a nice stable cruise. We have a nice little Cirrus later to entertain us. Stable flight. We have a little fun now. We want to look at. the right side of the aircraft. Have a look around. That's what it looks like. Inside of the aircraft. They seem to have us in coach. Not sure exactly why that is. Nice view. Fly by. Nearest tower. Lots of different views. You know, I can have fun with these things. Good for making videos. Okay, we're 19-ish miles from top of descent. We just got an FMC message, which is probably complaining about our altitude. Yep, reset MCP altitude. It's basically telling us that uh, our current command is for it to remain at 37,000 feet. And uh, it's going to want to descend pretty soon, so it's telling us to confirm or refute that setting. You can look outside. As you can see, we're crossing the Swiss Alps. We enter Italy shortly. Some nice little lakes. It's a very beautiful part of Europe. So what we'll do now is let's take a look at how low we're going to go. Again, on the lakes page. Looks like we got to remember a 4,000 target for uh, Novara. So what we'll do is authorize it to 4,000. Like so. Okay, several things just happened. You'll notice I did not push the button here. That would have commanded the descent to begin immediately. I just primed it.
told it, it's okay with me if you go to 4,000 when you want to. As soon as the descent profile, or, well, as soon as we flew into the descent profile, we get a little thing here that looks a lot like glide slope. Which is kind of what it is, only instead of being a glide slope to the runway, it's a glide slope descent. So it tells us if we're above or below uh, what we've programmed the computer to do. A lot of things happen. It went to idle. Now it's on airspeed hold mode. And it's on VNAV path. Which means it's going to hold this. This VNAV path is essentially the VNAV version of a hold gl uh, glide slope. While it's holding the glide slope, it's going to maintain our speed. And the hold is 276. Keep in mind that a speed control of 276 and a hold is the same thing. The only thing a hold does is holds whoever it was. Which, of course, was 276. So now we're in our descent. We go to VNAV page now. It will default to the descent, page 3 of 3. Reminding us that our economy speed for the descent is 276. It's where we are set for, and we're within a few miles an hour there. We're heading for uh, our next constraint is Riggin. This is not the next waypoint. This is the next constraint. If you want the next waypoint, progress is a good way to do that. We're on our way to Odina, which as you recall is the initial approach fix. 41 miles from now and 66,000 pounds of fuel when we get there. Now, now's a good time. We started our descent to set up our cross check our reference speed. Right now, we're predicted to have 60,000 pounds when we land, and frankly, we're close enough to that now that we're only going to be a few thousand pounds off, even if we don't burn anything. So, we will go ahead and set up for 60,000 pounds. Now, recall that our gross weight, or excuse me, our empty weight is 516. So, 576 gross is about where we're going to be when we land. So now I go to approach, and I tell it, run my numbers, please, for 576. And we find that it's 147, a difference of 4 knots for flaps 30. Keep in mind that if we flew across the ocean and we burned uh, 100,000 plus pounds of fuel, uh, this would be a much bigger discrepancy. So we'll set 30 and 147 knots. As we can see, a V-Ref display to 147, that's sort of a reminder. A lot of the time, the way you fly this aircraft is V-Ref plus 10, V-Ref plus 20, etc. So it calls it out down here to sort of remind us. And now we go to the legs page, and we'll see that it's been set for the approach as well, 147. Runway 35 left, touchdown 147. And what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and set well, maybe 155 for halfway down the approach. So that what it'll do is it halfway down the Glide slope, it'll set 155, but it'll set target 147 for touchdown. And that's pretty good. Comfortable is the word, I guess. 180, just a quick review. 276 all the way down to 10,000, remember? And then at 10,000, we've got a 230 restriction. So when we hit 10,000, this is going to drop to 230, then it's going to be 210 at Riggin. 210 in Navarro at 4,000. This is 210 above 4,000. 